Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you the terms blue collar and white collar. Okay, this is called a collar. So I have a green collar right here. But when we use the terms blue collar and white collar, it has nothing to do with the color of your collar. It means the kind of job you have. Okay, this guy here has a blue collar job, and that guy has a white collar job. Okay, so if you have a white collar job, it means you do some sort of professional work. Okay, and if you have a blue collar job, it means you do some sort of manual labor. Okay, if you work with your hands, that's called manual labor. Right, so this guy is always lifting things, he's carrying things, he's building things, he's probably a construction worker. That's why he has to wear a hard hat, right, to protect his head from things that are going to be falling off a building, okay? So let's take a look at some different jobs here. So white collar jobs would be maybe like a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, or a teacher. And blue collar jobs would be a cook, a plumber, a cashier, a painter. I think the biggest difference between these two jobs is that those jobs require more education. Okay, so if you look at these careers, they all require probably four to six years minimum of university education. A doctor, you probably have to study for like eight years or 10 years to be a doctor, right? But these jobs here, they all require maybe one or two years education, okay? So there's a very special term for blue collar jobs, and that is the trades. So if you hear someone say, I work in the trades, they probably work as an electrician or a plumber or a carpenter or a mechanic or a welder or a painter or a crane operator, okay, or some other work like that. Um, so the way trades people do their education is quite different than the way other people do their education. Okay, so trades people go to trade school it could be a college or a university, but their program is only one or two years. Okay, then they do an apprenticeship. Now, an apprenticeship means that they do on-the-job training. So if you're a carpenter, you'd go to school for one or two years, then you would work as a carpenter with some company and someone sort of teaches you how to do it. That's called the apprenticeship. And then after that, you get your certificate, your license or your ticket. These are all just different ways to describe the paper you get from the government that says you can do that job. So you take the paper to an employer and you say, hey, I wanna work for you. Here's my carpenter's ticket, okay? And then hopefully they'll hire you. Okay, so who do you think makes more money? White collar workers or blue collar workers? I think most people would say white collar workers make more money. But you know what? A lot of the time that's not true. For example, if you work as a long distance truck driver, you're gonna make more money. Well, here in Canada, I don't know about other countries, but here in Canada, you're gonna make more money as a truck driver than you would as a bank teller, okay? As a truck driver, you might make like 50 or 60,000 Canadian dollars a year. If you work as a bank teller, you might make thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. And if you work as a crane operator, you're going to make a lot more money than you would if you worked as a teacher, for example. Okay, so it's not always white collar jobs that make the most money. A lot of times, blue collar workers actually make a lot of money. Okay, so I want you to tell me what's your dream job? Do you want to work as a white collar worker or a blue collar worker? Let me know in the comments right down there and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.